Draken is still hot. <laughs> <laughs> Seething with anger. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see. This button, this button. Alright, the cart works. Define works. I think I use page 2H. Yeah, and then... Where's the gears? This one. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking massacre. Cool gears. All right, time to get back on schedule. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this will solve plenty of problems for us. Ugh, time to fix this problem. All right. So, this is uh, Game Boy Bionic Commando. This game's actually really cool. I love it. I love it. Um, it's a super hard run, and uh, it has a lot of really flashy swings and shit that you can do, but um, the flashy stuff is extraordinarily dangerous. What could possibly be dangerous about doing precise movement tricks in a game where your basic movement has randomness to it? <laughs> the double bounce back! Hell yeah, dude. Got him. To make matters worse, um... Let's see, 4, 7, 9, 8, I think. To make matters worse, uh, I rerouted to make it uh, substantially more difficult. And I don't remember what the old route is, so we're going to use the new route, um, but we're not going to get any of the time savings from it, because I'm not going to be doing the stuff that actually pays off. So... Go. Go. Shoot. Shoot. Your guns. This is a nice window they gave me. I got greedy. Go! Please. Alright. Let's see. Wire tap. So the communicator rooms are much more important in this game. In any. Hey, nice! We got a surprise encounter on the very first one. Sick. Um, those are random. Whether or not you get, whether you get caught. Um, obviously, you don't want to get caught. Oh no! No! Fuck, dude. Um, so the first. The first area is one of the more difficult ones, just because you have very few resources. Low health, uh, not a great gun. I skip there. Um, I can do this boss with one health. Uh, it's just a little bit tricky. Uh, these guys, though, have some pretty I fucking amazing it. zoning here. Um, this route requires that I don't collect any of those cartridges. Um, because I need my health expansions at really specific spots. That was some super shitty luck, but we made it through. So yeah, you get health expansions based on the bullets, the cartridges that you collect. Um, our first expansion is at 15? Or 16? 16. Uh, 
Um, yeah, screen flashing warning, I guess, for this entire game. They got a little bit ambitious with it. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of those in this marathon, actually. <laughs> We've obtained permits. It's Time weird to, to me. drive. It's weird to me how like out of tone with the rest of the Bionic Commando games the art is for this. Yeah, it's mega anime. Yeah. Like, the rest of the games in the series are all, like, the, the very kind of grimy, warlike look to some extent. I mean, Rearmed a little bit less so, but... Rearmed has no luck except for Blurry. <laughs> the, the art in this game is a preview for the story from Q2K9. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, area 10. This is where the shit hits the fan, goes through the fan, comes out the other side. Ah yes, the hippo mug spread level. Uh... This would be the third game that was released, right? Because Arcade was first, and then NES, and then this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. And then it's like Elite Forces, um, and then Rearmed, I think, was released a little bit before 2K9, and then uh, Rearmed 2 was the last one. Yeah, yeah Rearmed, one. I think, was 2008. Because yeah, Rearmed was, Re was kind of like there to reinvigorate the franchise to get people excited for 2K9. Yeah. Nice, our second trapped room. You expect you expect one per playthrough. We're at two in the first three rooms. Incredible. Um, Incredible. <laughs> so we. Oh shit! Let's see here. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're back on track. We got that health expansion a little earlier than we wanted, um, but there's uh, a damage boost that we take there. Uh, normally, um, I would have two health and I would use a damage boost and then get the health expansion immediately afterwards and then damage boost again. Uh, when you get the health expansion, you get a full heal. Um, but we're, we're back on track. We're actually one ahead of pace on cartridges, which should be okay. Uh, and life is good. Um, so we get we get captured here, and unlike in 2K or er, in, in uh, Rearmed 2, they actually take away your stuff when you're captured this time. <laughs> so I can't just like run around shooting stuff. Um, yeah, put it, put it you in a wooden cage. Yeah, put you in a wooden box <laughs> with all your guns. Um, so our lady friend comes and gives us a new grapple. Um, tells us to go grab our weapons and shoot stuff. Um, so we have, like, this stealth section, kind of. It's actually a super cool section, it's just fucking impossible. I almost got that skip, damn. Oh shit, that's super- okay, I forgot what room I was in, I was getting ahead of myself. Is that laser room on a set pattern? No, that laser oh. room sucks. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good look, dude. Um, he got shot as soon as he entered the room, but other than that... Yeah, I, I plan to take a hit in that room. Yeah, I feel like one hit over there is pretty good regardless. Yeah, your iframes are super generous in this game, thankfully. Oh, good. We've gotten back the weapons. Uh, that screen's really scary, because if you if you miss a grapple, you just have to go back to the elevator screen and do that whole thing again. Oh. Good. Good. 
So you can the skip all these really elevators. Good. The music is amazing, yeah. yeah. Um, alright, now we have to fight Nail Man. Nail Man's adopted brother? Yeah. <laughs> um, we just take the damage immediately and then try and kill him with our iframes. Like that. And then there's a safe spot here. Sick. Good. Nice. So we made it we made it through ten uh, on route. That's really good. That stage can be a complete disaster. Um, so now we have area 12. This is another big concern. It's really easy to just bleed a thousand lives here. Because um, there's a really tricky swingy section over Death Pit. This is a cool 8 bit remix of her 8 bit Game Boy remix of this song. Yeah, this song's really good. I think I might actually like this sound font better than the original version of it. Not by much, but... Yeah, it's good. Alright, this screen's super fucking scary. Shit. Alright, we're gonna have to take a death. But that's okay. That That is absolutely fine. Let's see, tap, com, tap, com. There's a way to get through this um, with like one damage boost on that pass, but it is super, super tight. And uh, I'm not in great shape for running this right now. <laughs> you don't say. Okay. So that's the way out. a health recovery, which is very welcome. Okay. Just gonna shoot the gorilla slash boxer. Uh-oh. Uh, thank you, merciful robot. Wow. Sometimes you get a, a bounce off him that just sends you into the, into the depths. Yeah, I was really surprised he bounced you that way. I'm surprised the bounce didn't hurt you. Bouncing, yeah, if you bounce cleanly on their head, um, it's okay. I think this might put me a little off track. We'll see. Yeah, if you bounce cleanly on their head, it's okay. Um, if you hit them from the side at all, then you take damage. I love this guy's glasses. <laughs> it's like the, uh, what are the, what's the thing that you load at the plastic slides? The viewfinder? Oh, yeah. Viewmaster. Viewmaster, is that it? Yeah. The, the one that's on, like, the rotary. Yeah. And you click it, yeah, Viewmaster. Viewmaster. Yep. Yeah, he's got one of those built in. Hello, was born in 1982. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got uh, we got the Vulcan, which is a really fucking great gun in this game. The Vulcan is the three-way gun. Um, it smashes fools. It is super good in this. Um, and the Vulcan is what you need to uh, break the barrier in Area 15. Um, in any Spina Commando, you could just, like, do a whole bunch of shenanigans that the game's unhappy about. And you could grab this thing early, but in this one, you actually have to wait for the Vulcan. Um, we don't have to do this now. This, uh, communicator is required for Area 16. Um, but it just makes sense with the truck route to do it now. Um, Are the trucks less bullshit in this game? Yeah, they're super less bullshit. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you how much less bullshit. Uh, first of all, they're not random in any ways. There's no truck skip. 
Um, and if you get into a truck encounter, you can just use the stage exit button combo and just <laughs> skip it. No, um, no, 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 thank you. <laughs> I'm flying a helicopter. I'm not yep. dropping down for this truck. Uh, that hit really sucks. Are we gonna be okay here? Who's the boss? Yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. Um, when I first ran this, like, I was pretty sure I tested that, and then someone later was like, hey, why don't you just skip the, the truck encounters? And I was like, because you can't, lol, idiot. <laughs> and they were like, you, you can, though. You just push the button that skips every other stage. And I was like, oh, lol, okay. Um, I think it was because, like, the buttons were remapped strangely, playing on, on SNES or something. So, like, the button combo I thought was stage exit wasn't, but I don't, I don't know. So anyways, my PB plays through all of the truck encounters. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, we're gonna collect a whole bunch more capsules, because we want a health expansion in area whatever the next one is. 16. Oh, we made it! We double made it. Hell yeah. Uh, this guy... Okay. Uh, this is my favorite boss strat. So the... The turret for this reactor core starts firing when you step on the platform uh, in front of him. So, we're not gonna stand on the platform in front of him. We're gonna stand on the dead body that we put on the platform in front of him. And... that's perfectly fine. It sure is! It's, <laughs> it is... it is one of the stupidest strats, and I love it. Okay, so now we find out that they built an albatross again. Um, so we have to go to uh, area 16 and put it into the ground. This stage is um, a complete nightmare. So we've uh, we've manipulated our cartridges to get a drop. Or to get a health ex- Hello! <laughs> um, to get a health expansion in this stage. Because we absolutely need max health for the boss. But, yeah, this stage is super tough. Um, this screen, I think? This screen has, like, eight consecutive floor clips that you can do. Um, and to do them optimally is... insanely hard. That is not where I wanted that health expansion. Oh, God. Uh, because I don't want Donkey Kong to hit me. <laughs> Alright, we're okay, I think. As long as this guy... We want to get the health expansion in this room. Okay. So we're, we're on track now. Oh god, what does this screen use? This is... Uh, let's see, tap, com. Tap, com, tap. This should be com. So the boss of this stage, well, I guess this is this is the awful screen, right? Yeah, all right. We'll try and make it through here. Um, I don't actually know a safe way to get through this screen, so we're just gonna kind of hope that this guy doesn't get in our way. 
Should I just wait for him and kill him? Nope, I should not have. This screen is some horse shit. Alright, that works. We didn't die. Alright, so this this boss is horrific. We need to damage boost onto his platform off of one of these bullets, and we want to try and kill him without him hitting us more than once. Um, he does two damage. Nice, we only got hit once, and... Uh, wow. That's super, super uncommon. Yeah, that seems pretty unlikely. Yeah, you want to take the one the one damage to get onto his ledge with iframes and then kill him before he hits you, because when he hits you, he does two. Um, and you still have to shoot the, the, the core while the gun is firing at you, so there's a good chance that uh, if you get hit by him twice, you're just dead. Okay, this, this game is interesting because you play the Albatross stage, you play the final stage, and the Albatross actually takes off, and it's like this huge fucking flying aircraft carrier. Um, it's a super cool stage. Uh, it's really hard, but it's, uh, it's awesome. Um, we have all of our lives, and uh, a lot of continues, so we should be good at this point. really tricky grapple you can do here, if the game will let you. It did not. Please, go up. I'm gonna take the extra health at the end of this screen, because that section was... was not great. Alright, there's some really, really tight swings here. Looks like we made it. Nice. Okay. Sweet! understand what this guy's armor is supposed to be. Airplane? <laughs> I killed him in actually the worst possible spot you can, but I don't care. I killed him. So this is this is Ryle. This is the guy who we killed and uh, whose dead body we stood on. He's back, but he's an airplane now. Finally. I have never seen him start by moving up in the middle of this fight. This is, uh, very interesting. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Um, so now he tells me some stuff that I don't think I've ever read. Um, <laughs> after this... <laughs> after this, we have this... TJ speedrun <laughs> quote I've ever heard. There's this... a bunch of stuff I've never read. <laughs> this really horrifying outside screen um, that I'm probably going to die half a dozen times on because it's, it's super unclear what you can grab. And um, the ship is moving left, so you just like constantly have this rightward drift. Hmm. Uh, so it's really hard to visualize where things are going to connect. It's hard to know what you can connect with. Um... Just 
Bolt's gonna really slow play it there. Hmm, you got this far, kid, but you'll go no further. I don't think this is a safe spot. I think I'm too low. Seems safe enough. All right, sweet. So that was uh, Final Sigma. I love yep, it. Sure I was. love it. It's a super cool fight, actually. The boss fights in this game are, are interesting. They're much better than, I think, any of the boss fights in the rest of the series. I forgot that that's an enemy and not just a thing. All right. Now we're just gonna... Uh, we have to escape in this game just like we did in... Uh... Oh, just like we did in NES Biocom. And the dude at the end does two damage, so I need to not get hit again. Once again, I take this bazooka. This guy, instead of having super boring uh, normal helicopter, has like this cool wolf. Dog plane. Huh. I guess. Wise man, this is the end of your plans and your life. Uh, my dream? <laughs> 60 seconds before explosion. This, this escape sequence is also much more interesting than the NES version. Alright, let's see. Can I kill Groder? The director is waiting for us. Follow me. Bang! <laughs> Ran into him. Sick. G G. Well done. Finish the game. All you can hope for sometimes. Yeah. Agreed. That's definitely all I was hoping for. This game is so fucking hard. Game Boy games had a lot of that, I feel, where like the the concept of the game wasn't bad, but the actual gameplay ended up being really hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this one has like a good camera and good move speed and everything relative to camera. It's just, it's just hard. I love it. I love it. Cool game though. Well, I failed to put us back on schedule. We're still running like 20 minutes ahead. How dare you? So we can just do both loops. We we could do both loops. <laughs> We could. Depends. It depends how we feel about getting ahead. Yeah, that's true. If we get ahead of our very serious, very well thought through schedule, it might cause issues later. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right. Guess we'll just have to add worse stuff than I already added. <laughs> Bonus. Uh, yeah, you should do both loops. You should do both loops. As a matter of fact, you should do four loops. Put us behind schedule so we can cancel all Mecha's game. <laughs> the ultimate play. <laughs> oh god, I remember nothing about Biocom Arcade. It's just gonna be an ass beating for ten minutes. The only thing I can remember from Planet Command Arcade is how fucking horrible it is. It is, it is something. It's probably the least fair game that I've ever played. Say, so, yeah, I remember that it will take your quarters. Oh, God. It won't just take your quarters. It will kick your ass and humiliate yourself while it takes your quarters. It'll make you watch it eat it, eat your lunch. Uh-huh. 